Hi, I'm Alexa Capelli, and these are five tracks that inspired me. The first one is Light On by Maggie Rogers. I have so much love for this whole album because like it was the first album I felt like coming out of high school that I really resonated with as an artist not just a singer like musician but like an artist I really appreciated the way that she sang and how the production matched the way that I felt and um it did propel me into like creating some of my favorite music in the beginning of my like journey as an artist. The song to me is about like being carefree regardless of whether or not someone stays or goes and I think um, that's a really important message and I really love that song. The second song is When Will I Be Loved by Linda Ronstadt. My dad would always play this song on guitar because he thought that I could sing it really well when I was a kid. My dad also plays guitar and would sing with me, so it was always fun to harmonize with him on that last part. And also Linda's just like a killer vocalist, so growing up listening to my dad, like playing her music was really like inspirational for me as an aspiring singer, so. Yeah, I love that song. Lots of good memories. Patience by Bad Sons. I recently discovered them like a year or so ago and I've seen them live and they're really awesome performers. But this song specifically on Disappear Here, the album, first of all, the album is fantastic. Um, but this song, I just love that it's like one of those songs where you kind of just need it if you're feeling a little bit down on yourself, maybe a little bit impatient with life and the way that maybe things are going and for me it was one of those songs where I really like leaned into the message because it was ah like it was it was in a time where I was a little bit like down on myself and sad and like waiting for something to happen next in my life and it just made me so happy like it's such a fun song and it made me be like okay like I need to just be patient <laughs> I need to just be patient like I'll be fine and because of that I feel like I just really love Bad sons all the more for it. So they're also great performers. Crystal, like, he, he, like, crowd surfed is crazy. That's my story. <laughs> Turning Tables by Adele. This song I remember listening to in high school after, like, my high school boyfriend had just broken up with me. And it had been, like, a little bit of, like, back and forth. And so I was just, like, so upset all the time. And I remember one night I was listening to this song in my room like the karaoke version for some reason because I was just like sobbing crying with my tissues and like listening to this song by myself and my mom walks in and she's she sees me and she's like and then she leaves <laughs> I was just like going back I just went back to like singing my Adele karaoke but it's such a sad song it's so sad and I don't listen to a whole lot of sad songs I don't write a lot of sad songs but this one if I ever need to get in the mood it's a tearjerker. Thank you, Adele. The last song, 17 by Julia Michaels. I just think this song is really cool. I love how it's like very kind of like childlike wonder type. It's all about a dream that she had. I think it's really awesome. I love the production of it. Feels super airy, but also kind of like it's like really driven with the instrumentation and the production. I really admire Julia Michaels' songwriting. I think she's a very honest storyteller and she's like has her own voice and her own sound and I just admire her as an artist as well. So um, listening to her stuff is so cool to then listen to the stuff that she writes for other people because she does have like this distinct way that she says words and melodies are very unique to her and um, I love this song. I think all her music is fabulous and this one makes me want to drive down the road with the windows down. <laughs>